Hi, this is my review of Blue is the Warmest Colour, which I saw this evening. Um, there was a charity Stonewall screening of um, Blue is the Warmest Colour at the Soho screening rooms. Um, this isn't our normal format for film reviews, but I found that I, I just couldn't work out what to put in writing um, that would really portray what the, the movie was about really um, so I decided the best way was video uh, so this is my review um, now there's been a couple of reviews out already that I've seen online and they only really seem to talk about the 10 minute sex scene um, which you know is a big part of the film but there's so much more um, and that's really why I wanted to do this review um, the film is about a um, girl called Emma um, and it starts when she's about 17 and it spans about 10 years of her life. Um, and uh, what I really, really enjoyed about this film was it's very good at portraying how when you're younger you you don't always understand the feelings you're feeling. So, you know, you you get upset, you get you feel hurt or you just don't understand what you're going through it really covered things like um not necessarily well i guess a bit of the peer pressure of how you know you are thought to supposed to act um who you're supposed to like um the um the interactions you have when you're growing up um interestingly I mean, there, there are several sex scenes within the film, and the first one is actually a, a straight sex scene where Emma sleeps with this uh, older boy that she likes. Um, and it, it's interesting because it's not normally the kind of scene that I would be interested in or enjoy. But there was there was something there drawing me in, and I think it, it comes back to what I've always said, whereby... You can spot gay people who are out. Um, uh, you know, we all say we've got our little gay dog going off and things. And I think what it boils down to, and this really brought it home to me, is that when you've done a lot of soul searching and you've really decided who you are and who you want to be, that comes across. You kind of you stand out. You you just you can see that you know who you are, that you've you know you know what you want. And for me, that this scene you can see in her eyes that she knows that she how she wants to feel and how she should feel and that she's not feeling it in that environment um and i mean for me i think it's quite a good scene to have him because it really does show that kind of sometimes you may not make the best decision you may do something that you at the time think oh yeah this is what i'm supposed to do um and yeah you, it may not be what you wanted to do but actually sometimes doing that leads you to where you become um everything we do feeds into who we are um and that scene really you know you can see it, the character that, that she's really becoming who she is and she's you know realizing that although this is what everyone says is what you're supposed to do it's not really for her um i mean at that stage though i don't think she really knows what's wrong with it but you can see that she's starting to have that thought process um there are so many things in the film that i really enjoyed um it's something that you can relate to you know it's got lots of scenes whereby you really highlight that in life you make mistakes um you don't always make the right decision sometimes you do things and you don't know why you're doing them because you know what you can't control who you fall for or who you like it's just something that happens and they've covered that really well and the actresses um who play emma who's the main character we follow and also the um adele her um girlfriend through the film um they're both amazing actresses and because of that you really are drawn in to um to both of them and their lives and um I really felt connected to them and I thought that was really, you know, interesting and actually it's one of the film, few films I've seen, um, possibly the only one, where I really literally walked out and was like, oh my God. Um, and I walked all the way through Soho and down to Haymarket and I was still thinking about the film. Um, it, it just, it's 
a very powerful moving film now um it won't be for everyone not every film is you know everyone has their own films they like don't like things like that it is a french film so it's subtitled um for me there was only one scene that that kind of slightly got in the way because there was a really emotional powerful scene where there was a real power struggle um lots of emotion and a lot of dialogue with that um and obviously you're trying to read it and watch the emotion um but other than that actually it just worked really well and i um really just thought the whole film was done so well um there's lots there's so much within the film that i think they did so well there obviously is the the 10 minute sex scene that people are talking about um uh it's, it's a it's a good scene i'd say if you want to know what lesbian sex is that feel you know that film they've done a really good job of portraying real lesbian sex the the power and the emotion and actually i really love the contrast of that scene to the heterosexual sex scene which i think really probably highlights the differences in the emotions that you feel in that connection um it was a very different scene um and i think it was very very powerful um the film itself is three hours well two hours 59 minutes long which for a film is quite long um but didn't feel too long and i would have struggled to know where to cut to make it any shorter um there's a lot to the film i mean you're covering 10 years of this girl's life which you know is, is a lot um the film is by now i'm going to pronounce this wrong but um abdelatif kacic and um basically the translation at the end is chapters one and two and i think that's a really good way of summing it up because i don't really feel like the film has ended uh, we've watched a period of her life um i really want to know what happens next um you know it is almost like the start of her life um and i you know i'm hooked i you know i really do feel like i want i, I want happiness i mean it's there is heartache in this film there has to be it is it is you know real life in the sense that there are other things you go through and everyone doesn't live happily ever after in life you do have heartache you do you know you do have multiple partners you you know sometimes sleep with people who you shouldn't or the you know the wrong person or you think that person's right for you and they maybe aren't so it's not a you know a happy ever after happy go lucky story however it's probably one of the most real stories um that i've seen in that there's a lot i can relate to um there's a great scene where she's you know first exploring those feelings that she's having and she's got a gay male friend so she's like well let's go out so they go to the the bar that he goes to and she's standing in this bar surrounded by men and that for me you know i was like this really reminds me of when i first was out in london and you know you're in a bar full of men you're looking around and going where are the women you know how am i gonna meet women in this environment um and she spots a couple of women outside and decides to follow them and you know you go around the corner and off the beaten track out the way is this little hidden little lesbian bar um and that you know again is i i guess what it probably shows is that there are similarities in different cities different towns different countries and that there's probably um there's there should be something in this film that everyone can relate to um and i just the, the whole f film has been done so well to such a good standard the actresses and the actors throughout really really good um and the emotion is there the story is just stunning um and it's just it's a really good film um and so i mean the reason i've done this is purely because i just didn't know how to put all that in words that could actually you know i i, I let i i mean i'm an emotional person anyway there were parts of the film where i was in tears uh, i really felt the heartache that emma felt um and there was a reunion at one point and you could see that the emotion that had gone through that the the turmoil and I really connected with that and actually even um, I tried to record this uh, in a cafe in Soho because I wanted to get it out straight away unfortunately it was too noisy but even just talking about it then it was so raw that you know talking about it brought a tear to my eye then as well and I think it, it's just a very very 
honest, true, um, very good film. So I'd highly recommend that you go and see Blue is the Warmest Colour when it comes out. Um, I'll put below this video some of the kind of information about it, um, correct spelling of maybe the names of the people also that I can't pronounce. Um, but I just wanted to maybe portray the emotion and I felt the best way to do that was video. So this is my review and I hope you like it um, and I do highly recommend that you go see this film. Um, unfortunately Katie didn't get to see it with me and I, there's a moment I can get my hands on a copy. Uh, anyway, I, I'm going to get Katie to see it because I think it's a stunning film. Um, and let us know what you think if you've seen it um, or after you've seen it because I'd love to know if, you know, if everyone else has had a similar reaction or similar kind of you know interest um in have you know experienced similar do you also have ties or th you know similar feelings from it that you know overlap with what you've experienced i'm quite interested to hear people's thoughts on that so uh hope you enjoy it as much as i did bye <laughs>